What's this? Yeah. This is uh, my emotional state. I'm one with my emotions. So this is what you get. Bro, what I do to have an emo baddie step on me, bruh? But nah, Jimmy Butler going on emo phase right now. No, it's your heart on the line. But anyway, 9 Raw, Prime Jimmy Butler, playoff mode, everything activated. Let's see how it goes. You know the deal, like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, let's get it. As with most legendary basketball stories, you know it started with practice. Jimmy was talking crazy in the offseason. Still gonna be me, I'm, I'm gonna go beat Dame, Giannis, and Adrian Griffin. So, you know, he obviously proved it to himself, proved it to his teammates. You know, but you know he didn't let up. It's Jimmy Butler for heaven's sakes. It came easy, you know, he had to double team him, triple team him. He was locked in, bro. You know, once the season started, bro, it was done. I ain't gonna lie, it was pretty much over the league, bro. And guess who got player of the month in the first month of the season? No other than our guy, Jimmy Butler. Bro was going crazy. He topped it off with an unreal performance against the Celtics. I don't know what this man was on. He just has a weird fetish for making Drew Holiday his son. But he dropped 62 points, 10 rebounds, and 12 assists. My God, like what type of career high night is this? This might be better than LeBron's career high. I'm going to be honest. Like, whatever, bro. I mean... He had six deals and four blocks to go with that as well. Like, bro, what was he on that day? Bro decided to turn to Jimmy Jordan real quick, bro, just to remind people for real, bro. Like, it is crazy, bro. I'm surprised they didn't do it against the Bucks of all teams, but I mean, it's still a crazy, <laughs> it's still a crazy night regardless. Holy. And yeah, that was basically the sentiment for the whole season. Bro was straight up on demon timing for the whole year, but he averaged 35 points. 15 rebounds and 12 assists. I mean, what type of freaking stat line is that to go along with two steals and two blocks? Like, what on earth are these stats? I mean, what's even crazier? Bro shot 65% from the field. You know what I'm saying? That's really good. But according to some weirdo on Twitter, you know, y'all could just still the most efficient player in the league somehow. But, you know, that's just me, though. I'm just playing though, you know, Jokic deserved the MVP last year, if we're being honest, you know what I'm saying? Jimmy had an absolutely incredible season, he would, MVP, DPOY, I mean, he just did everything, he broke multiple franchise records, Bro just had a year to remember, I mean, this was definitely, you know, his revenge season, so, I mean, absolutely stupendous from him, but you know, it's not just about Jimmy, it's about the teammates as well, bro. You know, his guy, who's been passed around like a blood when it comes to trade rumors, Tyler Hero, had an amazing season. He averaged 27 points to go with, what, six rebounds and five assists? Bro was just having a year. I mean, absolutely stupendous. You talk about wanting to bring Dame to this team. He probably averaged around 27 points, for being honest. So Tyler Hero definitely stepped up. Speaking of stepping up, you can't forget our guy, Bam, the most switchable guy in the league. He averaged 19 points, eight rebounds to go along with five assists and a steal and a block per game. I mean, bro's defensive presence will always be needed on this team. Absolutely dominant guy, just needs to be more aggressive on offense. But, you know, he's definitely a valuable part of the team, no debating that. I mean, his ability to affect the offensive and defensive side of the floor, you know, it's just immense to have, you know. He creates versatility, allows his team to, you know, be good on offense and on defense. He can stretch the floor and also match up against the biggest or smallest guy. He's basically the most switchable player in the league, as I said before. Like, that ability is definitely going to be needed come playoff time. But, uh, you know, this video ain't really about Bam, you know. It's about Jimmy, you know. This team is definitely going to be put on his back. But, you know, guys like Bam and Tyler Hero, they could definitely soften the blow and make it easier for Jimmy. So, hopefully they can do it in the playoffs big time. So, I guess we'll see. You know, this team could do something very special with Jimmy at the helm. But I guess we'll just find out, you know. I think, you know, they're a hardworking bunch. You know, they have the Heat culture. You know, the same culture that, you know, Dane wants to go to. Obviously, he didn't go to the Heat, but, you know, he went to my team, the Bucks, so I'm obviously happy. But, you know, the culture is definitely, you know, contagious. Look at the amount of freaking undrafted players have come out the cut. I mean, this culture is definitely something. This team will always be a threat. I mean, they went 65 and 17 in the simulation. You know, and I think this video just proves, you know, with just Jimmy alone, they are still always going to be a threat. All right, let's get into the playoffs, man. And, you know, round one. Round one, we got the Pistons. You know, they got Cade. We got, you know, a couple other high draft picks from a couple years ago, you know, like James Wiseman, you no know, Bagley. But, you know, they're still a project team. They always do crazy in these simulations because I guess on paper their team is kind of crazy. But, nah, this series is low-key just free low. It was a sweep, bro. <laughs> I mean, are you even surprised, bro? Like, Jimmy's on deeper time. Like, best record in the league. Pistons are a project. If they made the playoffs like this in real life, you know, that'd be progress for them, honestly. But, uh, nah, good effort, good try from them, honestly. It should be ways way to the Pistons. We go on to our next opponent, which will be the 76ers. This team, you know, Jimmy definitely has some history with, you know. But their team also has a bit of a interesting history the last couple years themselves. But, uh, you know, it'll always be a fun matchup, the Sixers and Jimmy. You know, they have a certain player that he has certain beef with. Tobias Harris over here. 
over me. But you know, let's get into the series. So game one, one that's about you expected. I mean, look at this, bro. It's literally perfect, bro. Just free throws galore. You know, Harden and Embiid might hate each other. Oh my God, is that Tsunami Poppy? Oh my God. All right, wait, back to the point. Yeah, so Harden and Embiid may hate each other, but they do have one thing in common, and that is they love to get to the free throw line. Doesn't really help when the refs are some dog water, but you know, it is what it is. Still, we still could have made plays on our end, but yeah, we lost game one. I mean, look at this, bro. This dude is getting pressed. I mean, Jesus. Embiid's low key unguardable, just like Yoga Giannis. I mean, sure, he's worse than both of them, but he is. Oh my god, he point. Oh, it's over. He pointed at Jimmy. It's over, guys. It's over. Yeah, it is freaking done out here. He pointed at Jimmy? Bro, you do not talk smack to that dude. Come on. Even I know that, bro. Like, look at what he did to my precious daddy, Ubre. Oh, my God. Look at that steal, bro. Oh, my God. I mean, yeah. So, game two, as you could clearly see, Jimmy took over. I mean, he dropped 50 points to go along with uh, 10 rebounds and 13 assists. I mean, what a freaking performance. I wish I was capping, but I'm not. Like... Bro, just went ridiculous. And I hope, you know, Embiid learns his lesson because why would you ever talk smack to Jimmy Butler, bro? He's even pointing up to freaking Sky. I mean, yeah. Game two was an absolute blowout. We won by like 35 points. Ain't nothing you could do. And uh, what if I told you that that was basically the rest of the series? Yeah. From that point on, uh, it was low-key a little rocky for the Sixers. Um, sure, they won one at home, but Jimmy had a legacy game in game six to close the series, bro. He dropped 42, 8, and 12. I mean, what type of stat line is this? I don't know why Embiid was talking smack. You don't ever do that, bro. Like, come on. And look at Embiid here, bro. Looking so sorry, bro. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing, little bro. I really don't. Bro, why is Blood looking up to the sky, bro? Blood's so lost, bro. Holy crap, bro. Like, I mean, Jesus Christ. That's why you don't talk smack in the NBA playoffs, bro. I mean, bro, look at Harden over here, bro. <laughs> Shaking his head like, bro, why is he gotta talk shit, bro? Why is this dude Embiid gotta talk shit? I don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, bro. Also, uh, are you not gonna tell me how this dude Jimmy just smacked the mess of the big tough guy, PJ Tucker? I mean, if you're a big tough guy, bro, you know, me personally, bro, I just wouldn't take that. But that's just me, though, bro. Alright, and on to the conference finals. Oh, God. Of course, we have Dame. I mean, who's surprised in the slightest, bro? The prince who was promised. And obviously his king Giannis, bro. This is about to be a, this is about to be a bloodbath, bro. Honest to God, I guess this is gonna be a fun series. No doubt in my mind, it's gonna be a fun series. IRL and in the game, it should be a fun series. You know what I'm saying? She was talking crazy, bro. Like real crazy. But you know, it's good to see. They're still friends. You know, it's still cool. I don't think Jimmy blames Dame. I think he blames Pat Riley. And I think just about every Heat fan should blame Pat Riley. I mean, what the hell? You're telling me that the Bucks got him for that package and y'all couldn't get him for the package you had, bro? Uh, I don't know, man. <clears throat> uh so you know i kept typing up the series like it's gonna be a good series you know uh you know as good as the bucks are uh guess what happened this series um <laughs> there's a reason why i'm not showing you the highlights from the home games because they're blowouts and let's just say you know game three got interesting it did you see how the bucks are like cooking you know in the first half but uh, uh let's just say after a certain point you know i don't know why dame is uh hyping himself up because you know after a certain point bro like it kind of, you know, the table's kind of turned, you know what I'm saying? And uh, let's just say that uh, Jimmy decided to just go berserk. Yeah, I don't know what Chris Middleton's doing there. He just sunned Chris Middleton. But uh, yeah, he just he just casually dropped a light, you know, 20 points in the second half and uh, took over. And let's just say, unlike last year, the sweep happened. And uh, uh, <laughs> this series is over in four. Yeah, they got swept. Uh, all that hype, you know. I was hyped personally to see. I thought this would be the series where we lost, but I mean, Giannis plus Dame couldn't be Jimmy in the Heat. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, bro, what is with this? As a Bucks fan, I'm obviously like a little annoyed that 2K still hasn't fixed us in the game yet. Like, honestly, we were a seven seed. I mean, sure, we got to the conference finals, but it's crazy to think about the Pistons had the same record as us, bro, because 2K just doesn't like Giannis. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, though. I mean, they got swept, which is low-key realistic compared to what happened last year. So, uh, yeah, the Heat kind of just sunned the Bucks for, you know, year two in a row. And uh, I'm just showing you highlights because, yeah, I just, wow. Honestly, just wow. I hyped this all up just for it to be straight booty cheeks, bro. I mean, <laughs> wow. 2K really does hate the Bucks, huh? I mean, yeah, we're conference champs, or I guess we, I mean, the Heat are conference champs. Congrats to Jimmy and Co. They basically ran through the East. My God, yo, Jimmy and Co on demon time, bro. Uh, you know, easy, easy work, I guess. But uh, why is Thomas Bryan holding the trophy? Why? 
just why i mean of all like this game is so broken all right and we're on to the finals we're playing the crippers the, wow the crippers wow okay i'm gonna keep that in that was like a south park reference either way i don't care so like can we just have a good series for once bro like they have russ Kawhi, pg bro like this team you know they cooked the mess of the lakers in the conference finals you know they really got a ton of good players and a talented team you know i just want a series i don't really care if, who wins i mean i'm not really a heat fan as i said before i'm a bucks fan but uh you know, for the purpose of the videos i guess i'm supporting jimmy butler but uh yeah Kawhi, pg russ a really good bench like a really really deep bench like like it should be fun uh and uh in game one let's just say it wasn't that fun it was a bit of a blowout you know i, I mean it, you know what the clippers tried hopefully game two could go a little bit better and uh, it's not a blowout because again this would be a very quick video and that's not what i want so yeah I mean, look at the stat line from this dude, bro. 32, 16, and 15. I mean, what type of stat line is this, bro? Hopefully, you know, something else happens different in this game. And in game two, it was more of the same, unfortunately. I mean, bro, the Clippers are going to make this video boring, aren't they? They really are going to. Like, all I asked for was an interesting series, and look what happens, bro. Like, what is this? What is that? A snatch block, bro? Oh, my God. Even that freaking Tyler Hero cooking PG-13, bro. Like, bro, can they just... Why? Just why, Bro, the Clippers, man, holy. Can they ever do anything right? You know what? It was a 12 point loss, not too bad. But I mean, come on. Can game three and four, y'all win that so it can be an interesting game five? Please? Please? Well, guys, they definitely had us at the first half for sure, man. I mean, look at that, bro. Just got pressed, bro. I would never rock. Holy Russ. But now nah, they had us at the first half. Let's just say that once the second half started for game three, it was kind of over. Clippers took over. And uh, yeah, it was just too easy. I mean, Kawhi's went berserk. Ain't nothing you can do when he's on it. He's like a robot, as you know. It's been pretty much been told since his whole career because he has like no emotions. But uh yeah, I mean enjoy this compilation because like this, this is like the one time we're seeing this team get beat down in this whole freaking video. Every time it's just them beating up everybody. Like, look at this, bro. <laughs> they literally both blocked that into the stands, bro. PG just stole the ball from Hero. I mean, what is that guy doing? Good dunk. For a second, I was about to say pandemic P's back low key, bruh. I mean, look at this, bro. I'm enjoying this. Honestly, I'm gonna keep this going because I'm enjoying this, bro. This is what should have happened last year when the Bucks played the Heat. But you know, obviously it didn't happen. I mean, I'm not even joking. Like Jimmy Butler was dead ass making those exact shots with people all up in his grill, fully 100% contested, red barring making it, bro. Like the sliders were just turned off. Like Jimmy turned off the sliders. Like bro, just ask God for like, like <laughs> a miracle run, bro. He just said, I want to go berserk. Please let me. I mean, look at this, bro. This is exactly what should happen. That should be cool. That should be Giannis instead of Kawhi. That should literally be Giannis instead of Kawhi, bro. I mean, look at Russ, bro. Like, all pumped up. I would love to see Russ win a chip, you know what I'm saying? It'd bring a smile to my face. He deserves one. I mean, just good plays all around. They definitely destroyed us in game three and four. I mean, wow. Yeah. Once the second half kicked off in game three, it was kind of over. So, uh, you know. Hopefully, you know, game five is actually a good game and it's not just another blowout. You know how the saying goes. The series doesn't start until the away team wins one. So hopefully, you know, game five, it gets interesting. That's all I'm asking for. I'm not asking for an away team win. I'm just asking for something interesting. Or maybe a buzzer beater or a half court shot. You know, something cool, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, just something, please. 2K, please, I'm begging, bro. Wait, the Clippers have fans? You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna stop trolling, they definitely do. Alas, game five. <sighs> most important game in the series and look at the start of this bro and uh speaking of tyler hero bro what if i told you you had a freaking legacy game and a half bro like bro dropped 45 this game yes 45 in the finals but he's fighting for that finals of AP, bro he's trying to take it from away from his boy jimmy and i don't blame him screw jimmy bro this man tyler was going crazy bro put bg in his place bro you know what i'm saying like it was looking too easy look at him cook bro I mean, he even stole the ball from Kawhi's big ass, bro. Like, have you seen that man's hands? How do you steal the ball from Kawhi Leonard, my dude? He's a freaking cyborg. I mean, Jelly Fam as well, dude. Like, Tyler Hero, bro. Legacy game, bro. Hoping to see something from Bam soon. But, I mean, if Tyler's cooking, who needs Bam, I guess, bro? I'm not dissing. I'm just saying, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. Really, game five looks like a blowout and a half. I mean, Jesus Christ, bro. I was praying and wishing for something different, but uh, it seems that, uh, oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Is this a freaking comeback? Oh my God. Paul George is finally stepping up in the playoffs. No more pandemic P. Oh my God. Ain't no way. 
is it finally here bro are we finally getting some gameplay where i can sit down and commentate bro let's look at the step back three in your grill jimmy sit down a little bruh it's finally looking like we could get something bro the comeback's still going on bro and we have made it less than two minutes left and the clippers are down two can they make the comeback or will the heat close it out all right paul george is bringing the ball up the court taking a sweet time He's going against Hero, you know, saying this is pretty much a good matchup for him. And uh, driving to the rain, and oh, he says get big. That looked like terrible basketball, but whatever. Okay, we got Jimmy's turn. He's going at Kawhi. Does a similar thing, too. Wow, he just said get big. Holy. All right, is someone going to play defense? PG, easy bucket? Nope, clank. Oh. And, uh, okay. Jimmy gives it to... Why, why would you shoot that, Kyle? Why would you shoot that? Oh, my God. All right, back to PG. He's driving. Okay, I was about to say, how do you not make that over Kyle Lowry? I mean, yeah, Bam is there. Also, the spacing's awful. Holy. Does he make the first one? Hell no, bro. He is not clutch. We make the second one? Okay, at least he's a little clutch. All right, down one. Jimmy with the ball up the court. Takes Oh, oh my God. No way. Nah. That is cold. That is cold. No way. Oh, my gosh. Look at that, bro. Spin move. Ugh. What a pass. I mean, swish, ugh, man, that was cold as hell, bro. That is my guy, BBL, Big Booty Lowry, bro, in the building. Holy, crazy. <laughs> bro, I think like he's Steph for Dame, Dame time or something, bro. Like, dude, you just hit a three, bro. Like, play defense, bro. Now, question, is that more clutch than Ray Allen's shot? I don't know. But I do know this, Paul George sucks in the clutch and clanked another shot. And yup, just like that, we took game five. At least it was a decent game. I asked for it and I got something decent. But nah, home teams is still one. Will an away team finally win? I mean, hopefully not now. I wanted to go to game seven, but uh, you never know. And let's just say I was definitely wrong. Yeah, home team five and lost, but uh, not in the best fashion because this was absolute carnage. Game six, Jesus Christ. Jimmy did not want to take any chances with game seven. He ended it right there and then in LA. Wow, gee, my God, like, what are you doing, Nicholas Batum? Fourth quarter yelling, why the fuck Batum in? I mean, good effort from the Clippers, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess mission accomplished. Oh, God. I mean, I just wanted something interesting. But none of the series were interesting. Uh, what, can, what a bucket for a reverse layup. Ooh, it's giving Kyrie. Ooh. But, uh, ah, oh, dude, I would never, bro. Jesus Christ. That was cool. That is cool. I guess you can't do it. They're up like 30 in the freaking second half. But, like, my God. Also, Caleb Martin's low key drippy as hell. That is somebody I should have shouted out 100%. He is a cool dude. The amount of shots he was hitting with people, he was low key on the same timing as Jimmy last season, too, bro. Just head in your face. It didn't matter. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, he did like the little Giannis head in your face thing after Giannis tried to block him or something. It was cold. Not gonna lie, the Heat were feeling themselves last season and they're doing it again here, bro. I mean, like, how do you allow that, bro? I guess this is what you get. I, I guess the whole premise of the video was to experiment. But yeah, this video was an experiment. Let me know if you mess with it. New style, new commentary, whatever. Just give me some feedback. Oh man, look at Kawhi, all sad and depressed. Hey man, at least you have a ring. All right, but you know, I love the effort, you know, the sadness, you know, at least you care. Look at this dude, Paul George. Bro has zero wings, these tiny shoe last team's getting cooked in game six of the finals. Yikes. And yeah, mission accomplished. Jimmy and the Heat are champs. Yee.